What's up, Bruce? Bruettes? Oh, wait, that's. What is that? Anyway, Bruce and Dude, Dude, no, Bruce and Dude. Whatever. What's up? How's it going? My name is Aaron, and it says a lot about nothing. Now, today, um, something very simple. I was just getting ready to go to the gym. You can see, got my woman beater on, my wife beater on. It's not just for show people, it's cooling, okay? I'm not stereotypical gym guy, you know? You been in the bar, bro? How many seats you got left, bro? You tell me if you keep up, bro? Kind of thing. So, I'm off to gym shortly. However, I've got to eat because fitness is 90% nutrition and 10% the gym pot. I'm probably talking a lot of bullshit, but really, nutrition is important. You need energy, you need protein before you gym. Um, I found this easy, flourless pancake recipe. You can add or supplement the pancakes with whey protein, which is quite cool, which I'm going to try and do with some of it. Um, yeah, so it takes two eggs and one to one and a half to two bananas, depending on the size of the eggs. And yeah, you cook it like a normal pancake, right? So, let's do it then, shall we? So, get to two bananas, get to two jumbo free range eggs. You want the chickens to be happy. And that should be enough for one person's breakfast, guys. Okay, it's just two bananas. So, we've got the energy, potassium for your heart, very good energy for gym, and a little bit of protein now. You're probably left with about Four grams of protein after the egg has been cooked. It starts off with seven, so maybe four and or less. But nonetheless, it's energy and it's food, it's some protein. And you can supplement it, like I said, you can supplement it with whey protein inside the mixture. So let's get started, shall we? So it's probably easiest to mash the banana on a flat plate, bigger surface area if you don't have a blender. If you do have a blender, you just put the bananas in the blender, blend it up, and uh, then you're ready to go. Just don't put the eggs in the blender with the banana. Whisk the eggs beforehand so it's not too frothy, then mix the two together and then put in the pan. That's all it is. Banana, egg, mushed up in a pan. If it's too yellow, then you've got too much egg, so add more banana, but don't skimp on the egg. Cool. Let's do it. I need some washer. This looks like a washer. No, it's not gonna work. Found it. So what we're gonna do is mush the banana so that it is a fine texture. Nice and mushy for the mixture, yeah? No chunks in it, because chunks, it's not gonna work, mate. It's not gonna work. Alright, so no chunks in the banana. This looks really gross, actually, when you start it. And that is the consistency that you want. Nice and smooth and creamy. Right, now to get the eggs going, yes? Very easy. We start off with one egg because I see I almost don't have enough banana. One egg. Oh, we can put two eggs in, yes? We can put two. That looks fine. Let's do it the real shift way. All I do is I take a fork. Parts one and part two are complete. Now I have to put them together. So we've got one and two together, and we're going to mix it. Have a look. Now, half the mixture I'm going to save for the whey protein part because I've never tried it before, so I'm going to try it today. And the other will be a normal. Oh, such a mess. The other one will be normal. Cool. Ta-da! Three 
little scoops gives you 26 grams of protein. One, two, three. Chocolate banana pancakes. You should probably use the banana flavor. Whey protein. <laughs> it's kind of big. There we go. Chocolate banana, banana. Put the pan on and keep cooking. So we're waiting for the pan to get hot. In the meantime, it's warming up line nicely. I use spray and cook so that it doesn't stick to the pan. Yo, you racket this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the normal one. It looks like it's hot enough. All I'm gonna do is pop it into the pan like so. Come on, Uncle, start cooking. Now, these are not real pancakes, so the mixture doesn't bond as nicely. But you just got to be a little bit careful when flipping it. You've got a, somewhat of a pancake going there. It's just half off the pan, but it's all right. So I've decided to make it smaller so it's easier to flip. <laughs> this is looking, the chocolate one actually looks better than the non-chocolate one. Ooh, look at that, look at that. Now the most difficult thing is to probably to know when to turn them over. Well, that's, clearly you gotta look at the, the edges of the pancake when they start going slightly solid that keeps a mixture in there and all you have to do is nicely see that as long as the edges stay together the pancakes ready because you're not going to have bubbles like you would in a normal pancake and just there we go yeah so we're ready pancakes are done I think I'm going to call them Evox pancakes such a good idea they look pretty good, slightly on the brown side, but that's because it's chocolate, yes? <laughs> cool! And then lastly, for some good energy, lastly for some good energy, honey. Douse it with honey, you know, I'm only kidding. It's a little bit of honey in place of syrup. Goes a long way, alright? It's more of a natural sugar, all that sugar sugar, so if you're diabetic, be careful. Look at those babies, pretty good. Give it a nice squeeze of honey. Presentation is everything, huh? A little bit of honey, not olive oil. And... Ready. And that's pancakes. Evox pancakes. Two eggs, two bananas, or more. And a bit of whey protein powder. Now, for the taste taste. Right, let's go for the chocolate one first. Oh my word. It actually tastes pretty pretty damn good. Yum. Banana one. Mm. Also good. You must have honey. Honey makes everything taste good. Really nice. Mm. Oh. Don't lick knives. Cool. Is that easy? Thank you for coming to our house kitchen. And enjoy your pancake, huh? Yeah! So if you enjoyed or liked the idea of flour-free pancakes, personally I don't like the idea of flour. Pancake is a pancake, just like my brother usually says. But this is a healthy breakfast. It's got banana, it's got egg, and if you add whey protein, Evox, or whatever you use, but I like Evox, um, then you've got a breakfast with some protein in it and everybody needs protein. So, go and try it out. I do suggest putting protein powder in it though. It tastes better. Let me know what you think. So, if you like the recipe 
and all that and you also think it's healthy, send people the link to this video and um, you'll be able to subscribe. So around my face right now is a little square. Click on it right now and you can subscribe to it and after this square is gone you can click on the link to some other videos that I've uploaded. Check them out. It could be funny, maybe not. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and um, happy pancake making. I think I'm going to call these Evox pancakes for their mascara set. <laughs> anyway, cheerio guys. <laughs>